Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is an energy of communication, forward movement. You could be getting good news from someone that does result in the progression of a connection, because this looks like back and forth communication, like you and someone could be really hitting it off. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. We have Justice card, Libra Energy, and the Death card in the reverse, Scorpio Energy. So someone could be revisiting a situation with you. Um, with the Death card, they, they feel unfinished business. Yeah, they do want to repeat a cycle with you. But this is someone who is aware that they first need to make peace with you. They first need to own up to something. Uh, with the Justice card here, yeah, they could be apologizing for something. They could be taking responsibility for something. Um, they could even be offering you something like to balance things out, so very like a like a gesture or a gift. Um, but this is someone who wants you to see that their intentions with you are harmony. They want balance. They want peace. They want to reconcile. And with the Temperance, they 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 have good intentions, very pure energy there with the Temperance card. Um, so we are seeing you hearing from someone, and them, you know, it's like if there's a message coming in, it's it's something that'll make you feel validated you'll feel good about what this person is saying to you you will notice growth and maturity coming from them okay so let's clarify these cards for a go Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So again, this person may also lead with their heart. They could be quite emotionally honest with you. There is this feeling that this person has a lot of love for you, and um, there is also an energy of wanting a new beginning with you, a new romantic start. You know, because there's something about the past where things may not have really gotten off the ground, or things weren't successful, and this person wants to change that. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Two of Cups, Water Energy, and the Fool, Aquarius Energy. Yeah, they want to they wanna get on good terms with you. They want you guys to be on the same page. They want you to know that they care a lot about you. Um, their feelings for you are deep, and they, they view you as someone who could even be like a soulmate. You know, this person, their feelings for you are very, very, very deep. Um, with the Chariot, they do want to move forward. They want to overcome a certain obstacle that has already occurred within this connection. If there was a roadblock, they're determined to overcome it and to have a breakthrough with you and to succeed. Um, whatever it takes, they're willing to do. Um, this person is hoping you guys can start anew, you know, wipe the slate clean and have a more positive beginning here. You know, they want to make the changes that they need to in order to have this connection with you. And they know that they may have to make that first move themselves and there's a willingness to do that. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Virgo. Okay, we have a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. So they do believe whatever happened here, yeah, it's work throughable, it's work outable. They want to resolve things with you. Okay, so let's see.
Okay, so we have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay, and then we have forget me nots, eternal memories. The best things in life are the people you've loved, the places you've seen, and the memories you've made along the way. Okay, so this person, they, they, they have very fond memories for you. You're someone that they would never want to lose. They, they are very set on you. They feel like this connection is quite divine and it makes them want to be better. It makes them want to show up better. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Virgo. Okay, we have surrender defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.